Hi, this is Nicole from The Yummy Farm. I was one of the lucky online participants to learn how to make a festive centerpiece, courtesy of Produce Made Simple. Now it's your turn to learn from Betty from Stems and Forks. Stay tuned until the end for a materials list so you can try this at home too. So welcome everyone to the Produce Made Simple Holiday Centerpiece Workshop. This workshop was hosted by our friends at Produce Made Simple. This is the, the centerpiece we're gonna aspire to make. So we are going to start with this branch. Any type of branch works. You just want to find a hole that can kind of grip the branch so it doesn't move too much. And then the next thing you want to do, and this is for any sort of floral centerpiece, is you want to fill it in with greenery. This goes to the other side of the branch. So as you can see, it's asymmetrical, but it's always balanced. So asymmetrical meaning that whatever you do on one side, you will do on the other, but they will not necessarily be equal. So we're gonna take that cedar and first start with the little branches and slide them in the chicken wire. And the reason why I'm using chicken wire is because it's recyclable. I mean, you just need to give it a quick rinse under hot water and you can reuse it again. I'm removing the bottom uh, leaves of the branch. The reason for that is when you put it in your vase or your box here and fill it up with water, it avoids that rotting smell that you get after a few days with flowers. We're going all the way around outside and a little bit in the middle because I don't want like a big shrub on top. I just want a nice base to cover up the chicken wire. Ontario mushrooms are grown all year round, which makes it fabulous because I'm obsessed with mushrooms. I mean, I love photographing them. I love cooking with them. I love arranging with them. Oh, I forgot, sorry. The branch, this log, lay that across. This one doesn't have to be secure just because it's quite heavy. The next thing we're gonna add is our star ingredient, the mushrooms. So I'm gonna start with the shiitake mushrooms. Take one of the wires. So I'm just inserting the wire into the stem and then I'm doing one of these little U's. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tie it around the branch. By doing this, you're just adding a little bit more interest, making the arrangement more unique. Because we put some mushrooms on this side, we're gonna have to put some on this side as well. So I'm going to attach a mushroom on this branch here. The reason why I'm using the shiitake is because the stems are very fibrous, so it can handle the wire. So I'm gonna put one up here. And now what we're gonna do is take some of the smaller oysters Take your skewer, insert one end into it. So you've now created a stem for your mushroom. So if you have a large one, I mean, it's, this is very beautiful, but honestly, this is, this, the textures on the underbelly is just stunning. So I would actually take the skewer and stab the top part of it and have the ruffles show. There's no exact formula for this. It's just pretty much making sure that the balance is right. Also, you don't want it, you know, one corner to overpower the entire arrangement. So cremini mushrooms, I, I just discovered this today. I didn't know this, that cremini mushrooms are baby portobello mushrooms. Did you guys know that? I had no idea. So if you guys don't have the creminis, just use the shiitake zen. Uh, and in this case, I'm, I wanna show the caps. I want it to look like a bit like a flower, like a daisy. And I want to do different levels. So I want some low, some high. Now what we'll do is we've got four mushrooms there. We're gonna swivel this around and do the balance part here. So again, take your skewers. So you could see I've got some that are a little taller, some that are shorter. Sorry? What should we do with mushrooms that don't have a stem? We have like, I have a shiitake with no stem. Oh, you can just do this. So if this is the shiitake, so you just have a cap, right? Yes. Just do that. Oh, cute, okay. Actually, that's cute too. That's really cute, it's like a button. Now, you should have a bo box with some oak moss. Some Ontario oak moss. This is where I kind of just fill in a few gaps. And now, some mahogany pots. I should. And I like it when one is a little taller than the other. I believe you got some grape berries as well. 
these guys. These berries are more for filler. It's just to add in between the mushrooms to break it up. Now, not everyone received the same kind of nuts and pine cones, but there should be an assortment that looks similar to this. So let's put four of these little nuts and three acorns on the other corner. Again, you do not want to see the wire, so really insert that guy in. The banana leaf. I mean, it's not necessary to put this in, but I just like it for a little bit more height and drama. Uh, pompous grass. So we're gonna insert that, hmm, you know, I think I might insert it where the branch is actually. The ilex berries, so these little red berries, these are what's gonna give it its festive touch. They do not need to be touching water. They last very well, and even when dry. And this one, I will actually polka dot because I just wanna add a splash of something festive and Christmassy. If you received one of these, actually, you could just insert the whole thick branch in. And then you receive some rose hips. These could go anywhere you like. Wherever it needs a little splash of color, you could just insert these. And I think we're done. I think that's it, guys. Here we are. It should last a good week. You'll notice that the mushrooms will start drying, but they're, they look fantastic dried as well. Amazing. All right, well, thank you so much, everyone, for joining us. And a massive thank you to Windmill Farms for all your generous mushrooms and Produce Made Simple for hosting this workshop. And don't forget to visit Produce Made Simple. So thanks again. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Happy holidays. Take care. Bye. Happy holidays. Bye. At the end of the workshop, I love to see the creativity from our group. With Betty's direction, we all made something we were proud of. Check out these amazing designs. If you want to try something similar at home, here are some materials you should have to hand. You can forage for many of these, but others are easier to buy from a florist or craft shop. Good luck and have fun from the team at Produce Made Simple.